Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick painting in acrylic. I'm going to do it in two stages. So this is stage one. We're going to do a balloon rising above a desert and we're going to paint the balloon in rainbow colours uh, and blend it somewhat into the background. Um, so the stage one will be to uh, do the sky and the distant hills and the uh, sand and then stage two will be painting in the balloon so hopefully I'll have enough time to do this because my batteries just told me that I'm running a bit short so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my brush very lightly and I'm going to pick up some pre-mixed pale blue colour so all this is is a bit of cerulean or cobalt blue mixed with um, a little bit of white and I'm just going to quickly, I've got a large brush here, just put this paint down on this background and we're looking for a fairly simple sky. Now you can paint around your balloon if you want to, just really quick. The reason why I've got a nice big brush is so that I can get the paint down reasonably quickly. The problem that we have with acrylic paint is that it dries off really quickly. And at the moment, this is the day after the bank holiday, um, the Easter bank holiday, which has been absolutely gorgeous. We've had 20 odd degrees temperatures, bright sunshine, which means that paint dries really quickly. So you can see I've got that down really quick. I've gone into the mountain because I know that the mountain is going to be a dark blue in colour. So I can paint this light blue tone down there without worrying too much about that. Now, you can either leave it like so or you can add in some paler tones or some darker tones, but ideally keep it fairly light. Now I've just squeezed out, I'm going to squeeze out just a touch of white onto my palette and I'm just going to mix and blend a little bit of white. I haven't mixed the white at all with any other colour into that sky just to lighten it up and particularly on the horizon area. That's the bit just behind the mountain. Now you can see that you can see there are lines. Now my brush is fairly dry. I'm just going to take up the rest of that white actually and put it up here because I don't want to waste it. Once it's on your palette, you can, well you can cover it with cling film or ideally some wax wraps or something like that because we're trying to avoid using cling film. Um, 